Hi, so welcome back to the course on integrated pest management. So, in this lecture, let us look at some of the important pests which are occurring of another important fruit crops that is grapes and the important IPM strategies which we are going to employ in managing this pest. So, here also we can broadly classify the pest which comes on the grape as the pest of national significance and the pest of regional significance. So, in the pest of national significance generally you now get the mealy bugs, the flea beetles, the girdle beetle, then some species of thrips, hoppers, stem borers and to some extent the leaf eating caterpillars and the leaf folder. Whereas, of the regionally significance you get the subspecies of mites, then there are chaffers which are involved and the leaf roller and the scale insects. Now, the mealy bugs, there are two important species of mealy bugs which comes on the grapes, one is the Ferrisia virgata and another is Maconelli coccus hirsutus. And these species are quite persistent, they are found throughout the year and almost all parts of the grapes, in fact quite severe in the major grape growing states. Both the adults and the nymphs are the damaging stage and they are found congregating on the leaves, buds, shoots, nodes, flowers and as well as on the bunches. So, if they are continuously sucking the sap from the leaves, then such leaves will develop the crinkling and curling symptoms and ultimately they will dry and wither off. And most important is if they attack on the flowers or the pan flower panicles and the bunches where on the flowers usually you will see them uh, sucking the sap and as a result there will be a poor fruit setting and on the fruits complete the stalk and as well as the berries will be infested by the mealy bug. So, which not only reduce the quality of the fruit, but also it leads to the drying and the dropping off of the fruit. Then thrips, you have Citra thrips dorsalis, so which again is quite serious both on the leaves and as well as on the tender berries, both the nymphs and the adults are the damaging stage. And in fact, on the leaves they usually remain at the under surface and then scrape the leaf tissues and as a result you get the silvery patches and also the curling of the, the leaves. But most important is that the damage that they cause on the tender berries. So, they usually scrape the skin of these tender berries. Initially, the affected part will develop the white patches and later such patches will become brown and get a patchy or a corky appearance and which sometimes will split open leading to the secondary infection or the ultimately leading to the poor development of the bunches. The flea beetle is another important pest which is a Scelodonta strigicolis which is a small beetle both adults and as well as the grubs. So, they are the damaging stage. In fact, the adults will lay the eggs in the soil around the trunk region and the grubs will feed on the roots of these uh, the vines and uh, so as a result in a severe cases if the population is very high then usually wilting symptoms is seen. But most serious is the adult stage which normally attacks the new flush or the younger leaves. So, soon after pruning when the new flush emerges then these beetles will start feeding on the new flush and the younger leaves which ultimately leads to the drying up of the leaves and this will in fact affect the inflorescence development and also the, the bunch formation. Mites to some extent you get several species of mites attacking red spider mite and other mites mainly on the leaves by remaining on the under surface they will uh, scrape the leaves tissues and then feed on the plant sap as a result you see these white patches and the discoloration of the leaves. Then leaf folder is an occasional and a minor pest. So, the larvae has a habit of folding or rolling the leaves and then scraping the internal content and in a severe form sometimes. So, it affects the photosynthetic activity and affect the development. Stem girdle in some cases, so they do cause a serious damage, but it is again an occasional pest. The beetle has got a peculiar habit of cutting the, the twigs of these vines and then laying the eggs here and as a result the drying up of the shoot is going to take place. 
And this is a very peculiar symptoms and this will affect the inflorescence development and also the fruit setting. Then stem borer occasionally, so it is a cerambicid beetle and it also causes the damage. So, they make a neat holes and the trunk and as well as the branches and initially what you see is the accumulation of the frost at the base of the vine and also you see the gamosis or the oozing of the resinous substance from the hole by which you can actually uh, detect the presence of this beetle. And uh, above the ground we normally see the yellowing up of the leaves and the dropping of leaves. Hoppers Empovasca species do cause damage both the nymphs and the adults are the damaging stage especially on leaves they will suck the sap resulting into the yellowing of the leaf border and also leads to the curling of the leaves. And some leaf eating caterpillars like Spodoptera occasionally comes and cause the damage and you all know that the nature of damage which causes in other crops. Similarly here also it scrapes initially and then later defoliates. And the economic threshold levels of some of the important pests, so one need to understand before taking up of any of the control measure is for flea beetle it should be 20 percent foliar damage and for mealybug 1 percent of the bunch infestation for thrips 5 thrips per young leaf and for leaf weber 10 percent of incidence is the ETL value. Then for integrated pest management. I once again in the orchard it is quite essential to maintain a cleanliness and a good sanitation in the orchard, removal of the debris, weeds, affected parts, berries all this is required and you should keep the orchard as clean as possible and this will actually take care of majority of the pests. Then for mechanical control, so usually in case of stem borers then you should actually physically remove so, in fact, so physically you can remove this using a sharp knife or the needle and then kill the grub. And the another important thing is the removal and destruction of the affected shoot or the excess dead wood from the canopy during pruning. And for flea beetle, the shaking of the vine in order to dislodge the adult, the adults have a habit of dropping with a even slight disturbance. So, you can put a tray under the vine and then simply shake it then all these beetles can be collected in the trays and they can be killed with a kerosenized water. So, biological control especially for mealy bug, the Scriptolimus montrigeri is a, a ladybird beetle which has been recommended at the rate of 10 beetles per vine. So, which effectively take care of the soft bodied insects and apart from that do you have the, the neem based insecticides like NSKE 5 percent or the commercial name can be used against majority of the, the pest. So, these are the chemicals which have been recommended, so against various pest and which has to be employed looking into the economic threshold value. Well, so this is about the important pests and their management through the integrated approach in grapes and during the last 8 weeks, so our team has made a very sincere and committed effort in providing a valuable information on the integrated pest management technology. So, starting from the what is a pest, its classification, what are the various components of the pest management, what do you mean by an integrated pest management and the various components involved in it. And at the end providing certain important IPM case studies which have been developed across the India so on very important crops. Hope this has actually enriched your knowledge and provided a great confidence in you. So, which you can use it either in educating the farming community or adopting this technology in your own form. So, for any kind of an assistance in further regarding the integrated pest management. So, you can always contact us and then take the assistance. Thank you.